This running game is so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. So the offense has it first and 10. Runs through the contact. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game, the effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage, I really liked what he did there. They'll try the air now with Newton. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. Pitching it out to McCaffrey. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. From the gun, here's Newton. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. Pass the 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And the defense could not have written a much better script than that first drive. Pick six. The offense never got a chance to really get oiled up there, did they? But the defense, they certainly got in gear. What a big-time play and a great way for them to start. And now the offense, they've got to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0-0 zero, zero is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already down a touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And the magnitude of this game, everybody knows it. The fans, obviously, the players and coaches, there's just with them a palpable buzz right now. They know they control their own destiny. Win and you're in. And I think every player wants that. I think every coach wants that. I haven't been in an organization yet that wants to be in a game where they have to rely on other teams to get them to, to their goals. In this situation, it's very cut and dry. Win and you're in the playoffs. That's their mission. That's their challenge. And you know they've chosen to accept it. And what they told us is this has been the most focused week of practice we've had all year. You wouldn't expect any different. Yeah, and you know, at the beginning of the season, you have multiple goals. They just have one now, win the game. Now a play fake here on first down. Room to run past midfield. Caught on the left side by Benjamin. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. They run the counter now on first down. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. 
getting the sense Charles are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, it's working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. On first and ten, Newton. This one complete to Devin Funches. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I say the staff that's up in the booth watching the game, they may want to file that one away. See how fast the free safety closed to make that play? Might want to check into a throw the next time. And the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. They run the counter play. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Couple of plays sent him the wrong way. And now they face a third and 14. Operating from the gun. Newton. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession there, and you'd have to say it's not like him to come up short on a kick like that. Yeah, and it's real easy for me to say this, but anything in the 40 to 49-yard range should be pretty automatic for an NFL kicker, especially in terms of at least getting it there. So you're right. That is a surprise that this will come up short. The first carry now. This is Johnson. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Yeah, that wasn't a big run. Just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there and you throw it again. You throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he went nowhere. Well, he went back. 
back to the 33. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I think a lot of people are a little bit surprised there that they ran the draw after that successful pass play previously, but the thought process had to be, maybe we can catch them rushing the passer and hit something big with the running play. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two, but they face a second and long to start things out. Motion left is Thomas. On second down, Johnson. And a short gain down to about the 33. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave him with a third and 11. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense, and at times, will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get them into the right Detroit, defense. Number, they definitely number, were on that play. Detroit, How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. Right, here we go. Here we go. Blue Blue and the Lander. slot man goes in motion left. The first carry for Elijah McGuire. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A good effort there, nine yards, but it's going to leave them looking at a fourth and one. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And, you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. And Lutz puts this one through. And the lead moves to 10-zip. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. To throw on second down is Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Call it a pickup of seven. And that is going to set up a third and one. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play. But if you're on offense, be aware. Ball may come your way. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Here's the Panthers punter now. Standing just outside his own goal line. And here's a very low line drive. Almost whiffed on it. And this kick will be touched down as they spot it inside the 45-yard line. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, 
that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah. Run what put you your do best. The game. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Flush to his right. Looking long for Thomas. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Terrific coverage in the end zone that time. Forced him out of the pocket to his right. I thought maybe try and run it there, but no one came open for him. Nice job by the defense of not getting out of their lanes. And on second and ten now. They're going to look to throw. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. The Saints put up 29 points a game last year, second only to the Falcons, and they're in range to get some points on this drive as well. First and 10. Hurry up, here we go. Blue 90. Blue 90. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. third and two play we're going to get a timeout call they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter and the panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down five defensive backs They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Back to throw. Left side and caught by Flaner. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Touchdown. Kobe 
Bobby Flaner, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Saints now add six to their lead. And now it's blocked. And all the defense has it. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. The 40. He's at the 30. 10. And all the way into the end zone, and that's two points. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And his throw is going to be incomplete. A little too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. To throw again. Newton. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. Got his target, Samuel. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback that has to slide and find open space to throw. On second down, here's Newton. And this is caught. It's Greg Olson. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And now a first down following that long game. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. Newton. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. So we have come upon halftime here in week 17. As we So no update from Larry after 17 weeks. Folks are saying, let's get on with the show. So we'll oblige as we get you set for the second half kickoff. 
fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's got Snead. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. First down, he'll drop to throw it. It's complete. Fleener, right side. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? in the backfield all receivers out in the pattern and in this situation you know what the quarterback has to do act as his own blitz control yeah he's got nobody else there to protect no him. one else there to protect which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit but not go down and fumble the ball they run the counter now on first down and he takes it across midfield to the 45 Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. They go play action here on first down. Going for the deep ball. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Trying to get to the outside. This is McCaffrey. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. 
Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing on third down, Newton. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off that lead. And now you put the pressure on your defense, who didn't particularly play all that well in the first half. But they're going to need to step it up here and make some plays if these guys are going to have any chance. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and take it. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. If that's the relief that you still have the lead. But coaches look at what if and what it should be. Turning the ball over when they've got a chance to score more points and increase the lead, that's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking to future weeks, maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Let's just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. They don't want to give up anything that's going to hurt their team. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Just one yard to go here on second down. Green, 39. They'll look to throw. And the tight end has it. It's Flaner. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Johnson and not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41 just a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine well they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half they've got to find a way to get him going he's a big part of their offense Second down following the run. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They'll hand it off now. Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On the toss, here's Johnson. <laughs> a big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Here's McGuire. And he takes it down to the 
the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Back now here live in New Orleans. So it'll be first down here after the run. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Back to throw here. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. And this offense on third down today, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Saints add on to their lead. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. handoff as they run the counter play. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And some options here for the offense on second and two. Out of the gun, Newton. Dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. as they run left side. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now a handoff working right. And he's going to be met at about the 43. 
Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and it'll be fourth down. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to fire one. He's got it at the 15. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. They get 31 yards that time. And it'll be first down, Panthers. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. And now here's a carry heading left. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? And the eighth play on this drive coming up. And again, this time to the tailback. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. We've seen this offense go for it on fourth down already on this drive. I wonder if they'll go for it again. I certainly wouldn't rule it out with these guys. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there. His 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Again, it's Johnson. And he's got some space here. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Almost unstoppable on the ground there, as that one is good for 39. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Uh, here we go. 
Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The Saints on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third down and 12. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good.